it appears the saga of the slap is not over yet. So uh, Will Smith apparently apologized for the slap after um, after he received an Oscar for uh, Best Actor. Um, so it, you see here this uh, Mediate uh, tweet here. I'll, I'll play the video in just a moment here. But uh, it says, uh, love will make you do crazy things. Will Smith offers a tearful apology after hitting Chris Rock on stage for making a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith. So let's watch the video here, and I'll give a, a few quick thoughts. This is going to be another quick video. Just thought um, I, I would talk about it real quick because remember the previous video was like, was it real or was it fake? And now just on the heels of that, we have this, which leads us to believe, I guess, it was real. So let's see what Will Smith had to say, though. Um. I want to apologize to the Academy. I want to apologize to my, all my fellow nominees. Um, this is a beautiful moment, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not crying for winning a, an award. It's not, it's not about winning an award for me. It's about being able to shine light on all of the people, Tim and and Trevor and Zach and Sanaya okay. and Demi Where's and the apology? Ajinu and the entire cast and crew of King Richard and Venus and Serena, the, the entire Williams family. Okay, okay, um, that's all well and good. Good that you want to make it about them. Art imitates life. I look like the crazy father, just like they said. <laughs> I look like crazy father, just like they said about Richard Williams. Okay. Um, but love will Waiting. make you do crazy things. Okay, so where was the? All right, where was the apology for Chris Rock? That didn't sound like an apology to me. Um, and you know what's interesting about this? When you hear about all the stuff that's happened between uh, Jada Peak and Smith and Will Smith, you know, the whole, uh, their entanglement, you know, if everybody remembers that, right, the whole debacle with their, with their open relationship and, and, and the mess that that was and, you know, the humiliation that came with, with that for, I think, both of them, in my opinion, although maybe they don't feel that way, right, because that's the arrangement that they have and saying that they were going to stick together, even though, um, you know, they obviously both kind of uh enjoy dabbling outside of their marriage um and that's fine that's teach their own that's their prerogative if if they want to have that kind of uh you know arrangement of a marriage that's that's their business um i obviously have my opinions about that like anybody else would per se i don't think it's good but hey you know that's that's them um so it's just kind of weird Right, that this whole thing, oh, love will make you do crazy things, right? I, you know, apparently going up there. Look, I, I commend a man that wants to, um, I guess he wants to, um, uh, fight and protect his wife's honor. That's all well and good. I mean, it was a joke. I, I thought it was a pretty lighthearted joke, to be honest. Maybe there's something more behind it that we're not seeing. Maybe there's a condition that uh jada pika smith is, is suffering from i don't think so but maybe maybe that's why maybe it's it's the reason why she has her head shaved maybe there's a there's a sensitive reason behind it that nobody else knows about because they haven't made it public um i don't know uh whatever the case might be though um i think it was a bit of an overreaction to the situation um obviously it doesn't seem like it was staged i mean it could there's still always that possibility that maybe it could have been but um doesn't seem like it right uh at this point if he's tearful about what just happened but like i said where was the apology for chris rock because i didn't hear it it didn't sound like he was apologizing to chris rock it sounds like he was just doing more or less a blanket apology to everyone else that was there which i guess i i guess you can consider that an apology to chris rock as well being one of his peers but um i you know as far as apologies go uh kind of lackluster and uh not one that i would consider to be genuine but uh i think it's just weird considering uh you know their relationship right will smith and jada pinkett smith's relationship that uh you know he, he chose to be so offended and and you know talks about being in love with her so much but yet you know steps out on her and she apparently steps out on him and they're perfectly okay with that you know the sanctity of of their marriage um i guess is uh you know it, to me it's 
obviously seems like more of a, a marriage of, of convenience just so that they don't have to look like everybody else, right, who gets divorced in Hollywood. Um, even though I, I, I'm, I don't know. It, it just, it's a weird relationship, but whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think that was a, a sucky apology. That's just my opinion, but uh, what do you guys think? Let me know. Catch you all in the next video.